I read a statistic, Angela, that was from parenting.org, uh, and it was last year, and it showed that 83% of men feel like they prioritize their family over their own needs, mm. and that 59% of them said that they spend a lot of time doing childcare and giving for the family that they don't get recognized and mm. that they feel unseen. So that's over half of the men who are in the home that are doing their role and doing their job and don't feel seen and recognized. And so I think one of the ways that we can help with that is to offer men life-giving words, give them encouragement. And even if they aren't fully operating out of their skills and gifts, and, and let's say that there are some areas that men aren't as strong in, what encourages a man to keep going is to encourage them and recognize Hey, I really appreciate your sacrifices. I see what you're doing for our family mm -hmm. and, and just speaking life into them because no man likes it when a wife or a child or someone is critical and says, you didn't do that right, or you forgot to do that. And so sometimes we lose sight of how much we could pour encouragement just by the words that we say that even though those things may not be true all the time, we can still say, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for that sacrifice and recognize like I recognize that you did this this week and and I just think mm. that sometimes men don't get they don't get that and we women sometimes ask for it right like did anybody yeah. see yeah. that I did that today and we we ask for that recognition whereas men can sometimes just you know fade into the into the background and and not get recognition and it starts to affect them and we want men to know that that God is their ultimate father and he can father mm. them in ways that maybe they didn't get that fathering from their own families and they don't know how to pass it on to their children, mm. but God is the one that gives them everything that they need. And this book really speaks to that.